Hello everyone, this is Alanon, and welcome to my next Let's Play. It will be in Fire Emblem for Game Boy Advance. Sorry, this is a little bit loud. Um, okay, there we go. Um, this game's pretty amazing. Came out in the United States in 2003. It was the first Fire Emblem game uh, localized. <laughs> For North America, I was hit press start so that stops. Um, I got into the Fire Emblem game a little bit late. I didn't play the games for the first time until <clears throat> a couple years ago. But when I played, this is the first one I played, and I just played through them all because I, I had so much fun. It was a great game. Um, I don't think I have anything. Yeah. I don't have any data. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm starting from scratch. So I won't be playing hard modes right away. I'm mostly going to do uh, hard mode playthroughs on everybody, uh, everybody's character. This should be a lot of videos. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I'm pretty excited about this. Your tactician traveling across Alib. Or Alib, I don't know. Set your name, birth, month, and gender. Use the control pad and the A button to enter info. Start the default setting, simply select no. And enter information, yes. Or someone change your name. I wonder if I don't know how to fit. Because I, I don't know about you, but my name is not Mark. Nice! It fit. Okay. Now my birthday is in January, but uh, your uh, month of birth actually matters. It changes uh, your affinity. I, I think July and September are both the same. They're both ones. I think they're fire. I think so. It's been a while. Yeah, they're fire. So I'm going to go with that one. Um, no particular reason. I mean, fire, thunder, and wind are all solid. But you could go with it with whatever you want. It's it's not game breaking. It's not something to completely change or restart over. Are these settings? Are these the settings you want to use? Yeah. But uh, yeah, this game's great. I'm excited. It's been too long since I played it. It's been a couple years. Girl from the Plains. Are you awake? Uh, this text is a little bit slow for my liking. I'll have to change that. Or I can just hit A. I am Lynn of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Lynn is one of the three main heroes of the game. And, uh, we're playing her chapter right now. It is a pretty odd sounding name. Goddamn right, it's a good name. See by your tire that you are a traveler. I don't want to brag, but I've been to some places. I just met you. I want to tell you all my story. Well, I was born in January of 1990. Nah, she doesn't want to know shit. Oh, it's now we're in a battle screen. And now we're not. Bandits. They must have come down from the Burn Mountains. Okay, stop them then. I mean, I'm pretty damn good with, like, a fork. And stab somebody with it. Hey, I'm wearing green broby thing. Okay, here is my expert advice. Take your pointy sword, 
stab them in the stomach. Lynn is the blue unit, the enemy units are red. Alanon, you are green. This is all, this is the tor tutorial. The first couple of fights are actually tutorial. Uh, kind, it's kind of annoying, but later on, in the next playthroughs and stuff, we'll be able to skip most of this crap. You're only here strategic, you will only appear during special events. Your job as strategic is to place the cursor on blue units to issue their orders. Yeah. Look at that. Oh! But first, let's check these dudes out. Bandit. Should be a way to... Okay, well, this is how you check. Oh, well, we'll just get out of it. This, the blue is where you can move, and the red is where you can attack once you get to the edge. It's like the outer edge of your attack range. This is all scripted, by the way. The combat is scripted. Enemy phase. Let's close in and attack. Um, but first, you see this shield? With a cross on it? That indicates that they're the boss. There is some way. Uh, let's move behind them. Now strike, yeah. You get to pick what you attack with. Unlike in some RPGs where you just have a weapon and you select, you use it. In this game, your weapons have charges. And as you can see under Lynn's portrait, her affinity is with a sword. So she'll be better with a sword. Uh, but not, actually, I don't think it's this type of sword. There's multiple varieties. Her attack is 9, her hit is 106, avoid. You get the idea. Now we're going to be attacking this dude. And... As you can see on the top by Lin's name, there's the sword icon. And there's a green arrow up. That basically means that she's going to have an advantage. Whenever there's a pyramid type thing of uh, weapon effectiveness, swords beat axes, spears and lances beat swords, and axes beat lances slash spears. So it's like rock, paper, scissors, essentially. And as you can see, this is basically like a pre-battle report, like what you what they'll probably do. Our damage will be seven times two. Because you know swords are faster and they have an advantage. Our hit percentage we're gonna hit hundred percent of the time. Crit three percent, not too good. And as you see on the left. The bandit only has a 39% chance to hit us because uh, axes are a lot slower. Here's a battle scene. See, he missed. There's our second attack. There's our XP bar. Because, yeah, we do get levels. Oh, this dude's going to attack us. Oh, he hit us. Well, we took him out. Dominated. This is scripted by the way. You figure, oh, 39% chance I'm lucky to get hit. This is uh, all scripted, unfortunately. I'm need of a vulnerary. By the juror to the west? What? You don't know what a, no, I don't know what a juror is. It's type, okay, it's a type of round hut. Okay. Many nomads live in huts like these. Mr. Little First Aid. Oh. So, yeah, let's go there. One of are like healing herbs, potions. They, as you can see, they are in stacks of three. Boom. Now we're back up to 16 health. Bosses don't normally move from their uh, starting point. I mean, they, they can, but a lot of the time they just stay, because they're like guarding something. Let's 
Okay, as you can see, we're only going to do like 10 damage to this guy. He's got 5 more HP. Our hit percentage isn't 100, but it's okay. And But we have a very, very low chance to crit. Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to Bada the Beast? Ow! He is pretty tough! Uh, I'm way ahead of you, lady. I'm already gone. And yeah, because he's, uh, like, in his, like, throne or whatever, he, uh, he heals every turn. Oh, and we got a crit. Scripted crit, but it's still exciting. What? How, how did you... Oh, we gained a level. Level two. Get her stack gross. Well, she gets another HP, some straw oh, that went by quick. I sorely underestimated him. I wasn't worried. I, I just bet you. I don't, I don't care if you die. Well, two brigands can almost defeat you, lady. And I, as you see in the top right, our objective is to seize the gate. And this is the gate, as you can see in the bottom right. Oh, wait. Yeah, you click anywhere and the menu comes up. Options. Attack speed. Max. Game speed. Ah, we'll leave that at normal. Uh, without backgrounds, we'll have that. That for now. I'm with. Terrain, yeah. Cool, cool. Change the window color. Nah, blue's cool. Okay. Let's, uh, move. We seized a hut. No one can stop us now. Yeah, dude, I did a lot of work. I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. Yeah. I'm a, pretty, I'm a pro at tutorials. Would you allow me to travel with you? <laughs> what? Wow, way to bring that up, B. What was I thinking? A Lorca. That's just so close to Orca. I mean, I'm just, why would they do that? She's basically an Orca whale. We killed so many people. The tribe was scattered. Fathers are chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. That went by quick. They wouldn't follow a woman, no one would follow me. She wanted to protect the people, but she was a woman, so they wouldn't follow her. Sniff, I'm sorry. I've been here for so long. I'm a Why are you alone? Just go to the city. It looks like you have a lot of clothes, you have a lot of chests. Looks pretty fancy in here. I'm better now. I must become stronger, so that must can of oh, blah, blah blah blah. So I may avenge my father's death. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I will become stronger by sitting here alone. You think? I oh, could lift weights. You got like a prison cell regimen going. Hey. Don't put words in my mouth, game. <laughs> okay. And now is, uh... That was the end of the prologue, I believe. And now we're going to officially start the chapter. Chapter 1 of Lynn's Story. Now I'm going to cut it off here. I know this is a short episode, but I don't want to start the next part because then, uh, I don't know, I'd be obligated to beat it. But I just want to get the first episode out of the way, get a little intro. My plans for the game are I'm going to beat it with Lynn normal, obviously. 
And I'm going to go through Eli Wood and Hector. And then I'll probably do the hard modes. Um, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm not really sure of the time commitment, what it'll be. But, yeah. I had a, I've, it's been like a, a little bit more than a week since I've recorded a Let's Play. I've just been playing some Hearthstone and... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I've been playing Hearthstone. So I'm revitalized. I'm ready to go. So, enjoy the ride. I'm going to enjoy making these. Till next time, thanks for watching, everyone.